Ramdeo, the antics of a 14-year-old boy from San Fernando trying to win the love of his first crush, his teacher, Miss Ramdeo. Ready for work and he was already dressed for school. He snuck out, picked the two flowers and smuggled them into his book bag. He made it to the front of the house just as his parents walked out. They all climbed into the car. The day passed quickly and Michael had Miss Ramdeo for the last period again. He liked it that way. When the class bell rang, Instead of the teacher running out to catch the next class, the students would be running out instead to their freedom. He tried to calm himself. He was breathing harder. His nose was clogged. His voice was an octave higher. And his back and underarms sweated like crazy. He did not know what was happening. He turned to his seat. He turned to his seatmate. I don't think I can do this. I think you should. If you get Miss Ramley to like you, you'll be the stud of the school. <laughs> Everyone will want to be like you. Michael loved that idea. He blushed as he saw himself walking down the school corridor with Miss Ramley by his side, arms hooked together. The bell rang and everyone ran out. Even the seatmate did not wait to see what would happen. Michael opened his school bag and tore the flowers, but his face fell as he saw them. They were dull, wilted, dried and dead. He looked up. Miss Ramley was gathering her belongings. He ran out of the class into the yard to the nearest hibiscus tree and pulled out two beautiful pink flowers. He ran back to the class and as he entered he shouted, Miss Ramley, I love you. <laughs> he stood there, eyes closed, arms upraised, the flowers standing upright and sweat pouring down his cheek. But she did not respond. He opened his eyes and lowered his arms. All he saw was an empty desk. He ran out of the class and looked up and down the corridor, empty. His shoulders slumped and he dropped the gifts of beauty. The lovely pink flowers, now discarded without any care for their lives, left to the mercy of the wind and the grace of God to die quickly.